Hi guys, I'm here. I do want to talk about everyone's favorite topic, carbs. Uh, and the reason why I want to talk about it is because twofold. Uh, there was a lot of time in the industry where we pushed against carbs. Um, and there is some validity to some of the reasons why we want to push against it. Um, I too, myself, was fighting the, the crazy against carbs at one point. Then I felt like I went full paleo and I felt like no carbs were necessary. Uh, and I kind of come back a little bit more. Uh, but I still do tend to, to stray towards the lesser carbs, more vegetable side of things. Uh, and I need to make a distinction there because I'm not being technical enough there. Uh, carbs are any plants. So fruits, vegetables, and starches, and grains, they're all carbs. Um, predominantly carbohydrates, that's what they, they're made up of. So I do want to make uh, less of a distinction in that sense is that they all are technically carbs. But when people are talking about less carbs, they're talking about the more processed carbs, they're talking about the stuff that tends to burn through your body a little bit quicker, things that tend to taste a little bit better in the sense that are going to make you want to eat more and that sort of thing. So for, for those reasons, you kind of want to stay away from those highly palatable carbs. Things are easy to eat uh, in large quantities and not even realize in time to stop yourself. So there is the argument against that. Uh, but that aside, carbs are not bad for you. Carbs are our primary fuel source, really good. Uh, ask anybody who cut carbs and started adding carbs back in. Uh, there's sort of a boost of energy. Carbs help with workouts. Carbs help with power type stuff. Uh, so there's a, a high desire to have it involved in your diet. So I, I do want you to keep having carbs uh, in your diet, but it tends to become the middle child that I've talked about in the past because the most important thing, of course, is calories. But the second most important thing is how much protein you're getting. So if you're spending so much energy focusing on having less calories and having more protein, uh, what tends to get pushed out are carbs and fats, of course. Uh, but people are a lot more mindful of fats a, because of the 80s and 90s, uh, maybe a little bit in the 70s as well, but also because fats tend to bring up your calories quicker, so you start to pay attention to them just inherently, even if you don't realize it, because you're not going to have things that tend to bump up your calories really quickly. Otherwise, you're not going to follow rule number one. So for that reason, carbs are sort of stuck in the middle, and you can either take it or leave it kind of thing. Um, but I will say that once your calories are in check, and of course after taking enough protein, whether you fill up the rest of your calories with carbs or fats, doesn't matter much. I would say to your prefer, preferred way of eating, let's call it. Uh, but I'll make a couple points. Um, carbs tend to carry a little bit more water, so you'll hold on to a little bit more water weight. It's not real weight. Uh, and and without getting too deep into this, it's possible to cut out carbs for a few days, drop like five, 10 pounds, and then start having carbs again, and you gain those five, 10 pounds back like that in a day or two. That wasn't real weight. You didn't lose that weight. All you did is you drained your body of water in that sense. So don't think about that as a viable strategy um, for, for any sort of uh, sustained weight loss. But that being said, carbs tend to carry a little bit of water with them. So tend to make you feel a little bit more, not maybe not bloated, but more full. Like, and, and bodybuilders will actually use this when they want to feel a little bit more fuller. It adds a little bit more carbs into the mix because it makes them, their muscles look a little bit bigger. Um, there's that. Uh, there's also that, you know, we, it's easy to overeat, as I said before, especially the highly palatable uh, carbs. Um, but the other thing uh, in terms of, of carbs is that you uh, sometimes are overeat them and there's not really like an off switch with carbs. You don't feel satiated. So if you have carb, uh, sorry, fats or protein in your diet uh, in a specific meal, you're gonna feel fuller sooner compared to carbs. Uh, there's a signal both for protein and fats in your gut that when this food arrives there, it automatically sends a signal back to your brain and says, okay, that's enough kind of thing. Uh, you do not have that um, to the same extent, uh, some cases at all with carbs. You can start to run through a bunch of carbs in terms of eating and not really ever have that signal turn on again. Uh, so there's that other argument against carbs. But 
all in all, I think the argument is still in favor of carbs, include it. Um, and I'll let you into something as, as we get closer to your goal, you're gonna get to the point where your body fat is where you want. One of the first things we start to bump up is carbs. We start to allow you to have a little bit more carbs back into the mix. You're gonna feel more energy, you're gonna be able to do more. And we're still gonna bump it up, bump it up to the point where you're at maintenance calories, you're getting enough protein to maintain your muscles and you're having a little bit more carbs, uh, which for most people means a little bit more fun. So if any part of your brain right now is telling me that carbs are not good, I need you to dump that out, throw it out like I told you to throw out your clothes because it's not true, it's not helpful, and it's just something that's gonna hold you back. So, of course we include it, but in the cases of when you're calorie deficit, sometimes you don't wanna have it as much. That being said, if you have any questions about carbs or anything like that, send them over my way. Enjoy your day. Thank you.